Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're back over in our YouTube account and there is a new code. I'm gonna put it down below, but it does give us access to a couple more common scrolls. So this is because of the AFK Companions test that we did. So all of my fellow content creators and all of the players that went out there tested out AFK Companions. It is done. Yesterday they put the, put the kibosh on it. They sent us a, a quick email that said, thank you for participating. Here is a code that was available that popped up on Facebook. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna use those scrolls. Um, but before I get into that, I wanted to hop in here and looking at our events, that is right, the Celestial Isles are up, but the Mystic Star Zone is back. Now, if you are familiar with this, um, it's a really cool event to get Awakened Heroes. That is super, super important. You can see that we're pulling the bottom out right now of the guild, but making sure that you go in here and I wanna run through kind of how this works. So within here, you can see the battle info on this left-hand side. We have four guilds. One of the guilds, number four, is Adventure Walk. We've won this the last couple of times, so I think this might just be really early before players get in. So there's a couple different strategies that you can actually do on here. Number one is all of the players log in as soon as it comes up, which it did come up probably about an hour ago. I, I think about an hour ago, um, but you can hop in here. You can grab one of those tier three nodes, which I'll show you in just a minute, or you can wait till all of the players kind of farm out their three hours because you're limited to three hours of farming in here every single day. So again, there's kind of a strategy behind this because when we start doing quick search, Chances are premium nodes are going to be either very, very, very strong. You can see right here, we have 12 more minutes and this node is going to be gone. They have land built. So this is a very big whale account. There's Gwen completely built out. So the chances of taking this, probably not there, but you could go in and fight it if it was worth the time. Anytime that I hop in, there's 12 minutes here. So that makes me think that um, the, these nodes are gonna be quickly snatched up. If we could find a big node that was unoccupied, which it just goes through these three, we could go ahead and pick up. So I might wait a little bit longer. And you can see right here, today's mining duration, remaining three hours, max limit three hours. You only have three hours per day, like we were kind of talking about, to go ahead and hop in here and start farming. If you miss your three hours, unfortunately, this is three hours for three days. This round ends in two days, 21 hours. So you get three hours per day for three days to go ahead and go ahead and mine. And of course, when you mine, looking at the rewards, this is the game changer and the thing you have to pay attention to because of course, not only do we have right here, that is right. This is a hero choice chest for Awakened Heroes. Now we have ran this, this um, star zone a considerable amount of time. We have yet to see one of these. We are 0 for forever on all of the accounts. Even when I ran a multitude of accounts, we are 0 for forever of getting this hero choice chest. But then of course you look at this premium chest or the premium chest right here, the preview chest. Um, you do have the ability to again get that chest, but this yields you shards to build out your heroes. Looking in here, looking at Athelia, looking at Shamira, even looking at Laika, they are the awakened heroes that are in that SSS class, meaning they are the ones you are gonna wanna build. You're gonna want these, get these free copies. And when it comes to the star zone, you're not gonna get a free copy off the bat. But not only do we run this three hours for three days, we actually run this three times. So you can see exactly how this is gonna work. So overall, you have to farm in here and noting in the top right, right here, if you have not occupied Meteor Eight over for one hour, you will not receive any rewards from this round. It requires you to actually play the game um, to get the rewards. If you're one hour, you'll get 50%. If you do three or more hours, now of course, those three hours are over three days. You will get 100% of the rewards that are offered in here. And you'll also notice that the rank rewards, depending on where we're done or where we finish this, will give us extra of those premium chests. But it has a personal reward aspect, which of course are both chests mixed, mil militia or your militant. Um, these are the chests that we get as a team. So if you're not going in this game mode, if you're not playing the Mystic Star Zone, essentially, you are screwing your guild because you're not getting the resources, which of course means that they're gonna get in turn less, resor less resources. Now, when it comes to the quick collection, we have basic, intermediate, and premium. Even looking at a basic collection in here, the basic collection you'll note right here gives you six a minute. There is never a reason, even as a brand new player, that you should be taking a basic meteorite ore because it gives you six or a minute. When we start looking at the intermediate, 
This is where a majority of players are going to hold. And you can see there are a lot of different players that have taken these middle nodes or the medium nodes out of here. And even looking when you start going in here, they produce eight a minute. So when you think of six for basic, eight, um, or excuse me, 18 for a, a, a minute for the re resources out of there. And then you look at the big nodes, they are 54, that is right. You're getting 54. So when you're looking at premium meteorite ore, it is the absolute priority because per minute, you are going to exponentially get more of this for your team, meaning you're gonna score higher as you get the resources. And again, for me personally, you can go in here and you can attack some of these players. Um, chances are you might not be able to kill the players because even looking at this, but you can go in, you can occupy, you can set up all of your teams in here. And I don't believe there's any repercussion. You can go in here and you'll notice as well, we are evenly matched, so it's 480, 480, but you can notice that um, combat rating, depending on your PVP teams, depending who you have in here, um, which I really think I have to fix mine. Noticing in here, and I was just thinking when, when I noticed it right there, um, looking at the team that I had in here to attack, challenge attempts left 13, but you'll notice I don't have Lucius in here, I don't have, um, even right here, I don't have Shamir in here. These are some old school teams that I had built um, for formation. So I am absolutely going to have to update these formations. Um, even as he goes in there, there, there's a couple of older heroes in here that I can absolutely. And of course you want to go in there and you want to be updating those formations, ensuring that you're maximizing the ability to get some of these ore. Um, and essentially when I take this ore, if I could beat one of these teams, if we could take this ore, this is kicking out the team that's there, which of course I'm um, going in here while well, we won one, this we won two, then we're going to have to look at team three and four. So again, you can kind of come in here and you can kind of game it because even looking at three and four, that was the awakened version of Athelia. So we can go in here and we can swap some of the teams that we have in different places. That way we don't get killed or really seeing this is our stall team with the seal, which is going against Shamira. Again, I have to work in the Shamira teams. I'm going to have to swap out. Um, some of these teams to make it work to go through here, but it is PVP driven. It is really um, you versus the other team. And look how big the hypos look here. That's pretty cool. We could go through, we can figure out, and essentially most of these teams have a counter team um, that you can go through and you can fight with. So again, not gonna really go through and play with it right now, but overall challenges of course are gonna give you more points depending on where your militia is or your, your um Millicent is out of there. So again, you want to get in, you want to take these nodes, you want to farm your three hours every single day. You don't want to miss out on any of this because again, if you're going in here and you're missing out on some of these nodes and even looking here where the orange team is here, the blue team, um, you might even want to, and some people do target specific, um, specific nodes that they can actually kick teams out of, which again, depending on where you are. So there we go. So we kicked them out of the node, boom. Their score went down 18, ours went up 18. Now we're at 168 is where we're at. So again, we're gonna accumulate this and this starts our counter. You can see 259 left. Now with this, you can see the node has 45 minutes. Our shield right here, if you click the shield, it gives us a 44 minute. So essentially we have 45 minutes of protection, 45 minutes of farming. So we're gonna get to the point, this node is probably gonna expire in 45 minutes. But for the next 45 minutes, we are getting 18 production per minute for 45 minutes. So we're going to be able to catch up a little bit further and a little bit faster. Overall, I know a lot of players not super happy with this game mode when it initially came out. They have done a ton of revamps. They've done a ton of reworks. I do like how they do it. Come in here, set your garrison teams. Make sure you know exactly how you're going to set your PvP teams. Makes a big difference, guys. Make sure you do use that code. And let me hop in, use those regular scrolls. The regular scrolls, a lot of players, again, kind of disappointed that they are regular scrolls, but I wanna see because of course, regular scrolls have the ability to be awakened heroes, which is what we're looking for in its entirety. So I know it might not be anything at this point, but any time that I have an opportunity to pull an awakened hero, and unfortunately we don't get anything in there, um, but anytime we have the ability to pull an awakened hero, I will absolutely take that at bat. That way we have a chance to pick it out. So right guys, so that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.